Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to Road to 500 Days. You're back here where you left me in the strandy grass of Broken Railroad and it is morning. We have slept through the night for the most part and we are ready to continue into Broken Railroad. But let me see, grab meat and gear and go to Broken Railroad. We eat a pie or two. Sure, let's do that. Pick up the pie, pick up the carcasses that we need to harvest, pies. Anything else right now? I don't think so. And, uh, oh, that's actually in that case, because it's probably going to be very cold. We're going to eat up all of these. Uh, for the short journey. There we are. Oh, this one doesn't. There we are. Far, far, yeah. Let's grab a torch. Mm, not a lot of torches. I'm actually kind of glad it's this episode was recorded quite a while after the previous episode. And in a way, I'm kind of glad I did because there was lately a lot of bugs with some patches, including people losing stuff in containers. And because I wasn't really around for that. Uh, I don't really get those bugs, which is uh, convenient. Oh, we'll find another stick. There we are. And let's, yeah, let's eat the pie, a carry pie. Like these ones. Gives us so much stuff. There we are. I can carry more. I'm not even heavy anymore. How about that? These pies are absolutely crazy. They give so much value. Let's grab uh, a couple sticks. I used all my fuel, but at least I was able to stay outside. There we are. And we're going to do Broken Railroad today. Depending on what we get up to, we might need to stay another episode to establish a base we'll see now here we are at the transition into broken railroad so you see down here is the actual way you're meant to go and that's where you should go to get there however there is a shortcut so if you're not familiar with it i'm going to show you now you can you can get over this uh it's perfectly possible you just go up here and along these ledges here, like this, and up, and then over here, and then you go up here. And what do you know? You are over it. Ta da! And you crossed into the other side. Isn't that neat? Very, very cool. So you can skip the whole thing down here, the whole thing can be skipped. Uh, and of course going back is even easier. However, uh, we are going to go down in there. Uh, just, just because, well, I almost never go there at all. It's been... You know what? I think it's actually been something like two years since I've been set foot down there. There's also a wolf down there we need to be careful about. But, um, they've added some stuff, including an acorn tree over there. And I like to pick those things up. We're going to do that. And I might want to map here also. There should be a wolf around here. He seems to be... Uh, not around at the moment. I think there is a backpack down here as well. So let's go check that. Broken Railroad is a little bit tricky in the beginning just to get there. And there's a bunch of wolves surrounding the base. But once you get there, actually, there's a lot of resources. There's a bear, there's a moose, lots of deer, rabbits. I'm sure there's ptarmigan somewhere. And wolves, of course. It's a pretty good region, especially if the moose spawns outside the cabin. Yeah. Which is what we want, of course. Here's the backpack. I'm going to drink uh, a birch tea. Get some warmth back. 
This map also. Yeah, a little bit of mapping. Let's loot this. How much warmth you get back from your hot items vary a little bit depending on what item it is, but I'm not too bothered about it. I use uh, my health as a resource as I travel. When you cover long distances like this, you want to make sure you have uh, enough possibility to uh, to be able to heal once you get cold. Now, normally to go to Broken Railroad, you go here. Go over this little bridge here. And all the way on the other side, and then you get there. It's a... Uh, oh, they're cold now, okay. I'm going to stop this fire soon, because I want to keep a torch. Over here there is an acorn tree. I'm going to douse this torch, because I need it. Anything around here? Yep, we got some acorns. Nice. There's some more acorns. More? No. Just two. Alright. I'm gonna get cold soon, but that's alright. I can run a bit. Hey, look at this. Uh, I might actually take this place. Oh, okay, I see. My fingers feel numb. Uh, we gotta get the bow out or some other weapon because there will be wolves. And in fact, I probably have to kill them because I don't have enough torches. Unless I make a fire. But then I need to... Uh, I need to get some wood for that. I guess I can use the... Uh, see the wood. You could also just kill the wolves. There's the wolf over there. So cold. He's definitely gonna smell me. I might kill him. Uh, uh, over here, there's also a deer carcass usually. Let's just go and check that out. Here comes the wolf. He ran away. I see, so who it was. Bunnies. The ptarmigans, I'm killing those, but bunnies, uh, they can wait. Ah, yeah, here's the carcass. I don't really need it. But I'll grab the feathers. Where'd the wolf go? Where's the wolf? Oh, there he is. He's still running. No oh, feathers, I has one. And uh, because he's running, we should be safe to like map and do other things. Because he's not in a mode where he can engage with me. But I can still do this. Zoom. See. You keep running, my friend. Now, on the other side over here. There is a backpack, usually. And sometimes a campfire. Panting will. I like having a nice looking map, so I try to map as much as possible. I don't need the map to know the area. I mean, I already know the area, but I like to get a nice clean map. Now, there can be a campfire with some loot there. There can also be a backpack. On lower difficulties, you can find a hatchet laying around here. But in Clope, you won't find out, of course. Yeah, here's the corpse rather than backpack, I guess. Anything there? Any? I've got a feather. Another feather. If you played story mode, this is where the bear uh, catches up to you. And it's like little this little cutscene thing. Now the actual train, you can't really interact with any of this though. I did once have a bear die up there. Which was weird. 
it, uh, I, I hurt it and it went running for miles and it ended up up there. Could hear the footsteps. Yeah, yeah. Could hear it was around, but just couldn't figure out where exactly. Always best to have the distress pistol because it's um, it's faster. You could hear him running around. He ran up there. <laughs> now, because I have three scent lines, I stink to high heaven, and that's why. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't need the wolf yet. That's why they're all coming for me. I might clear out here. We'll see them. We can wait a little bit. They're detecting me already because I smell so much. Oh, jerry can. Nice. With gas. Been looking for the jerry cans. I'm actually gonna wait a little bit and check out over here first. Take a little shortcut into the maintenance shelves. I might be able to skip the wolves. So over here is the broken bridge. This is why it's called broken railroad because the railroad is broken, wouldn't you know? However, uh, if you are playing with the DLC installed, then this bridge will not be broken because this is the entrance to Forsaken Airfield and the Far Range territory. So if you look, actually, I'll go over there and show you. You'll see that the bridge is actually open. Oh, dog food. Now it's hidden. Almost missed that. Goddamn freezing. Blah. Wires, okay. We don't need that here. Okay, so over here, <clears throat> this uh, bridge is broken. However, uh, because I have the DLC, this bridge is not broken anymore. And you can actually cross it. Like this. Wouldn't you know it. Let's grab this for, for wood. Might as well loot this. And if you go further on, you get to the far range branch line. Might as well check the car while I'm here. We're not going to do that, though. Not yet. We will eventually, though. Alright. Another area we need to check in this region is the ravine. Never felt so, cold in my life. so if you go over here on this little ledge here and look down, you'll see that down here there's a bunch of stuff. Now, underneath us... About straight underneath us, right there. Right there. See that? That's a supply cache. In there you can find things like coffee. And if you're lucky you'll find a fire striker as well. And somewhere here is a stim. It's usually near the edges here by a corpse. So we need to get that stim as well. Broken Railroad is unique in that you can get... Um, you can get three stims here, which is insane. You can get one in the ravine, which is always there. And then one in the hunting lodge, which is also always there. And then a third one can spawn in the maintenance yard. We're going to check for it, but it's not guaranteed. How much food do I have? A lot of food, I think. Don't I? Yeah, decent. Getting a bit cold here, hyperthermia risk is going up, so let's get inside, shall we? Ooh, I can hear ptarmigans. Only two? I don't really need them anymore, but... They're gonna go for them, though. 
There's two? Uh, seems like it. There we go. Right, my accuracy seemed to have improved a little bit. This gear is starting to slow me now, down. when they're at that distance, you can just use the crosshair and aim right at them, and uh, you will hit them. I should point out that some of my viewers pointed that out in the last video. Uh, so it, I can't take it entirely credit for that. I already knew that, but... Um, the, the, the actual reticle, the crosshair, will only be accurate at certain distances. If you're too close, you actually have to aim under the animal. If it's too far, you have to aim over the animal because of arrow drop. But at like a medium distance, it's right on it, so... Uh, it's accurate to a certain degree, and in this case it was the right distance. Should be fine with hypothermia. So this is a wolf's nest. There's usually a load of wolves around here. Uh, right now though, it's a little bit quiet. It's possible that they have <laughs> gone around to try and find me, maybe. So that's one thing about this area. There's a lot of wolves in this area. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Yeah, you'll die, but you're not gonna get cold. Yeah, you can hear the howls all up here now, so I think they've actually gone up and around. I'm just gonna check here quickly, because I think there is a first aid kit. Oof, so slow with the wind uh, against me. Yeah, I got a corpse. Tips, scrolled message, a mentor with survival hint. This is the hint, that's just the bridge. Yeah, okay. That's uh, literally just the, the hint to go to the bridge. Minus. We got two more cars to check, and then we gotta check inside. It was quite a bit of loot. You can also check some of the crates in there. Or some additional loot, which we'll probably do. Uh, one more truck. Come on. Wait. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna go into this like outside office. So cold. Which actually gives a warmth bonus, so you can see I'm actually warming up. As far as I know, this actually doesn't count as indoors. I don't think you get cabin fever staying here. I, I don't really spend much time here though. So uh, don't take my word for it. Nice. I'll probably make this a little mini base, but. Our main base should really be in the hunting lodge, unless the moose is here. Look, they hate the light. If you don't know what that means, it's from story mode, it's the aurora wolves. The aurora wolves, and bears, are only afraid of electronic light. So the lights, like for example, these lights, they turn on in the aurora. And if you stand in them, the wolves will not attack you. Aurora wolves are not more dangerous than regular wolves. Well, technically. Um, they don't do more damage or anything, but they... They detect you from further away. And they also have more health than regular wolves. Special shout out to streamer Blades CJ for figuring that detail out, which I didn't know. So they take more damage. You don't really want to fight an Aurora Bay, you can risk having double amount of arrows needed. Okay. Now I'm gonna check something very quickly. I'm gonna drop all my heavy stuff. Eat this. Uh Ok, 
Okay. Because I just want to very quickly check over here. Oh wait, let's also drop the stuff that makes me smell. Okay. Because I want to see quickly if there is a moose over here. If there is, then this will be the main base instead. Because the moose is more accessible. And you have wolves and everything. But if not, then the moose is up by the lodge. And I just want to see... Uh, if there are markings, and there are markings, okay. So the moose is actually here then. Is it out? That's a, that's a buck. Doesn't look like it's out, but it would spawn over there usually. Okay, that's a shame. I love it when the moose is in the hunting lodge, because it's such a cool base. You can just hunt the moose right outside your base. But because that's the case, we possibly will make this our base instead. Seeing as this is actually closer to the moose. And then we'll bring the food over here to this door. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now that we know that, I think we can take our time here. Because this will be our regional base instead. All right. Here we are. And there's lots to loot here too. But let's go straight to the office, which will be our main source of organizing stuff. Yes. Oops. So here there's matches. They are right there. So if you ever spawn here, which you can't, uh, unless you do lower difficulties or random and custom, um, that's where they are. Crackers. And then sometimes there's stuff around here too. Not today though. Coffee? Tea? Okay. Could, find some use for this. Could yes. And... This out. This will be our main storage for the time being. Nice. So the Oops. check all the stuff, and then we're going to organize ourselves a little bit here before I loot the rest. Otherwise, we're walking around being very, very slow. This will be our base I'm not gonna be able to carry this for the time being. Okay, so. Uh, let's put in here everything we don't really need right now. So we don't need two mag lenses, for example. We don't need these books. The wood we can take. We can put 12 in here. And we can update our log right away. Uh, BR, which is... I was going to call the yard, and there's 12 here. Plus mag lens for now. And we can also put what else have we got. This we can bring with us, I guess. Yeah, that's ruined. We'll harvest that. Uh, we could repair this, I suppose, for the sake of it, I guess. And we don't need this. Uh, we don't need two cooking pots anymore because we have the skillet. At least for the time being, that is. Uh, we have one of those there, the jerry can. And we put the wires in here and these in here. Oh, let's see, how much fuel do I have in the uh, thingy? Yeah, okay, let's refuel this. And let's also see one cloth only, okay. Uh, I want to repair, harvest this first. And I want to repair this too, can just put it in there. Just to have it here for the time being, and if it expires, it's really not a big deal. There we go. Okay. Go back, put that in there. Food wise. Um, we got a lot of misc stuff we don't really need. Let's put this in here for now. You can put like a pie in here, why not? 
Uh, these in here too. These we need to harvest. Put the jerry can in there. Guess that's about it. Uh, this we can put in there. Okay. Then this we can drop here to cure. Yeah. Harvest these two. And first these we need to drink. Uh, I'm still quite heavy. Oh yes, because of these things. Let's harvest all this stuff. Let's just do that. And do the meat first. So the meat's very fast. Oh, let me drink. I forgot about the drink. We're going to just harvest this into the night. <clears throat> Cook it when we have a chance. Let's just do that. Harvest feathers. That's going to be done with our hands. I don't think we even need that many feathers, but I'm still going to harvest them, just to have it. Have the meat. And then the feathers. Well into the night. And the other two, I think, are just feathers only, right? Yeah. Need to eat actually. I'm gonna lose my well fellow at this rate. Uh, we can uh, <clears throat> we can eat this. Uh, this thing we can also eat. Two hundred fifty. Eat that. You don't really need to carry those things around. Uh, let's eat the chips too. We don't need any other stuff. The pies, though, are for traveling, so... Surrounded by snow. Wait, no, this Nothing one is... This one increases... Oh, yes, that's right. That's very good, but we don't need that right now. Let's eat this. And also drink this. And another drink. Okay, and then we harvest this last one here. I don't think we need any more ptarmigans at this point. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. Yeah, we're gonna rest now, Astrid. Let's have a little drink of water. And then we will sleep for 10 hours. There we go. All right, nice. Need some more food. Uh, this is raw, so I need to cook this. Let's have a look at the weather situation outside before we do anything, just to get some uh, fire going. Ooh, peaches, nice. No, I think I'll probably use a match. Let me just see though is if I can grab a wolf or something for some extra meat. Hey wolfie, wolfie, wolfie. Oh dear. There was a couple of deer over here, wasn't there? Ah, there they are. Not very good weather, though, is the only thing. Not sure if it's worth hunting that right now. Ah, we will leave that. Do that later. So we're gonna put... We'll see, I might not need the uh, fire yet. Let's just drop all the raw meat here. And go inside. I will just eat the food we find in here. Okay, let's have a look around. Should be quite a bit of bits and bobs around here. More matches. How about that? Come in handy. It certainly will, Astrid. And uh, what else is that? Use. You can take two. 
Call on Muskeg after we have the radio. Yeah, we don't need any of this. We can harvest it though. Still looking for some clothing though. Boots. We still need uh, the second one of these and wool socks. Oh, we're getting there. I think I will grab this water. Yummy. And we want to go to the hunting lodge. Okay. Now let's go over here to the forge. So here's a forge. This is a third forge. Oops. And a hammer will not spawn here. Or rather, at least in the previous loot table. I'm not sure if it's still works. Uh, there was a 25% chance of it spawning here on Interloper. Don't know if that's still the case. Okay, and then down here we got some wood. Some cables. Uh, I think these, you can't enter these things now. More wood, coal, coal, fuses, off, that's good. I want to make the um, insulation. All right. I also want to upgrade the bedroll. We'll do that later. And then here. Okay. Then in here, I don't think there's anything about back here. Yeah, we got this. And then we got cloth. And over here, the hammer can spawn here. And what do you know? It did. Okay, I guess I answered my own question. <laughs> so on Interloper, you'll never oh, find... Lucky day. Yeah, that is lucky. You'll never find hammers in forges. It's one of those things. And lower difficulties, you'll always... You can find hammers on forges, you know. On Interloper, they'll always spread around. You always find a hammer on Hush River Valley. But other than that, they can be found multiple different places. Uh, and you don't find them in their forges because it's too easy. However, Broken Railroad is the only exception where you have a 1 in 4 chance, a 25% chance of finding the hammer at the forge. Now, in practical terms, it doesn't change anything because the only way that would make any difference is if you spawned in full-on muskeg, got the hacksaw right away, and the metal and the coal, and then you went to Broken Railroad, and you found the hammer. That's the only time that would really make a difference, and you can forge like on day one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but that usually wouldn't happen. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone even do that. If people spawn in full-on muskeg, they almost always go to Mystery Lake, and if not, they go to Mountain Town. So getting the hammer is uh, it doesn't really impact the run, but it's interesting to know that it does happen. So we actually found the hammer, and because we don't have one, we actually can we can forge it. I'm gonna leave it there as well. I don't think we need anything though at the hammer at the moment. But well, that's lucky, isn't it? So we have that. It's that sort of run, one in four. Okay, there's a few other things to check that we are going to do. So there are some crates here in the maintenance yard. I actually, I just want to map here. I don't think I mapped the uh, yard. Yeah, that's better. Actually, mapped the ravine one. Okay. Grab the pies. Do these smell the pies? I don't think they do. No. Okay. So, there's a few things. Let me just check my food first. Um, yeah, let's, let's eat this. I think it's the wood and the hammer and stuff making me heavy. We can also eat a couple of these. As long as I have 12, we're fine.
I'll eat a pie, but when I leave, not now. Eat down to 12. So two more. Okay. So this crate can have, I think it's dog food that's in here. And you use, use the hammer. It's almost as fast as a hatchet. Okay, didn't have anything this time. Then there's another thing up here. These crates, I believe it's this one. This one has loot in it. And that loot can be a in sardine and that sort of stuff. But it can also be a stim. So if you're lucky, you get a, the third, that's the third stim. Let's check that out. Let's see what we got. Are we that lucky we get hammer and stim? Who knows? Uh, nothing. Or oh, maybe they changed it. I know it's still in one. Okay, it used to be in this crate. It used to be here. Uh, did they change it? Let's just find out. We went on a hurry. Let's break these crates down. Ah, they changed it to this crate, apparently. No steam, though. But we got whetstone and sewing kit. Good to know. Alright, good to know they changed it. Here, yes, second jerry can. Nice. That jerry can used to always be over here where the car battery is, but they must have changed that too. That's the thing when I changed the loot table for interloper, they didn't really change that much. They mostly kept items in the same place as before, they just moved them around in the locations they were before. Like, oh, now the jerry can used to be over there. Now let's place it over there. Oh, they'll never figure that out. <laughs> and I guess that's it. So that's pretty much all the loot here. Let's grab this cloth. Working very slowly now because I'm carrying so much wood. Let's dump all this wood here by this uh, fire barrel. But I'll make food if I have to. Because we don't need, for example, all this. And we're also going to go over here. And I'm going to drop the hammer here by the forge. Along with the coal for forging later. Let's drop the... And we'll drop all of the coal. And let's drop the hammer. Be this and we'll put long. that in our notes as well. So we have four hammers at the moment. That's good. And then I believe it's this crate can have a can of food in it. Just check. Oh yeah, I put away the That's right. Use this. Uh, oh, cured leather, okay, yeah. There might be other boxes too, uh, but uh, we're gonna do those oh, another, another time. Let's go back into our locker. Put stuff in here we don't need. We don't need the other, this jerry can, for example. Uh, don't need these. Don't need these. Don't need that, or these. Don't need the second pry bar. Uh, we don't need this many sewing kits. We'll take one though. Uh, not carry this around. That might be handy. And yeah, we got a lot of downs. Um, this <clears throat> I'm a little bit low on on food. I can stay there. Guess we'll take the rest. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit. That can actually that is that something I killed. Uh, let's put the regional bases. The yard, uh, it's the yard. Hammer, maple, wood, isk stuff. Misc. Okay, I think. I'm thirsty. Let's see. Um, I don't have that much food, so I need to cook something really. Before we do the rest, let's just have a quick look here. Okay. Let's see if 
what the weather looks outside and if there's a deer or something. Oh, can I make a fire with that? Oh, no, it's just, just scenic. Drink a birch tea. I'm gonna go on a little hunt. I'm gonna bring the prey over here if I can. If the moose is out, if not, uh, the bear maybe. Maybe now I'll grab a buck. Come over here. Let's see if the moose is out. Would be good if the moose was here. Doesn't look like it is. We'll check. God, I did anything right about now. I don't think it's out. I think I would have seen it by now. Yeah. Oh, really nice scenery right now. We might grab the bear though. Feels like night is coming. Bring the bear over. Let's uh, maybe grab a bunny to attract the bear. Let's eat a uh, one of these. Where the bunny go? Oh, sure, getting cold. Where the bunny go? Oh, there he is. Oops, missed. Okay. Oh, so cold. Now I smell a bit. Does it be easier? We'll find the moose another time. So the bear is, uh, the base of the bear is in a cave of, oh, over there. Okay, well, we could always, uh, two wolves, that does the trick, I guess, yeah. Any more wolves? Uh, do you want to join? I was gonna grab the bear, but uh, there he is. There's the bear over there. They will all do. Bear can come to me. He's over there now. Let's see if I can harvest a little bit of this. Let's do this. Be safe. Use uh. There's the bet. Ah, he's barely moved. Grab this too, then. Think about his food. Eh, yeah, little bear. There he is. Okay, come here. There he is. Right, so I want him to come with me over to the yard. Then I can kill him there and then be closer to the base and we'll have some supplies there. Hey little one. Hmm. Did a wolf kill a deer? Seems like it. Hmm. Hey there. Hello, fellow survivor. Yeah. Thank you. Now come with me. We're gonna go over to the yard. Milkshake brings all the bears to the yard. He's gonna run away. Come it. Oh, see, I stopped. That's because there's a wolf behind me. Fine, we'll kill the wolf too. Let's see how he stopped. Now he started walking. No. Fine. 
Ah, wolves, you're messing up my mojo. I want the bear to come with me, not the wolves. Hmm. See, the, the, if you didn't know this, um, the animals operate in a tandem system. So if a wolf is aggroing me, the bear will stop. Only one animal can attack you at a time. So the wolf will not attack me if the bear is attacking me, and vice versa. Come with me, Mr. Bear. We're going over here. I promise this is not a trap. At least not a very good one. I don't really have a plan. I just want to get you close. Now, I'm archery level 4, so if I hit him in the head three times, he will always go down. Level 5, I think it's twice. You go, and he goes down. Yeah, little bear. I'm used to calling everything little now because I have a baby in the family, so I just, everything's little. So the reason I'm doing this, the reason I'm kiting him over here, is just because of convenience. I want to kill him by the base so I don't have to travel with the meat. I don't have to drag the meat back to base. That's why I'm doing this. Now, in the future, if you're watching this video in the future, they probably added the trava, the sled, and you can drag meat or something. But so this update does not exist. This is the old school way of doing it. So, we're gonna get him over here. We're gonna try and kill him as close as possible. Uh, and there is a way to do that. Ooh, fog, come on. How's my hypothermia? It's fine. Got a lot of wood as well, so it should be just fine. You can barely see you, see you there, little one. Okay, I gotta stop saying that. Little bear. Gonna make another campfire on top of you, which is, <laughs> could be our thing. Gonna try and get him killed over here. Go like this and up, right? Yeah. Go up here. Let's check that before we actually do anything. Yeah. You can, it's just. Ah, we could do a ring around the roses too. I forgot that I was so heavy, so I was running really bad. Oh well, what's a little adventure without a bear morning? Well, that means you have to light a campfire on top of this bear. Every bear we had mortars has to have a campfire up its bum. Uh, I reacted a bit slow that I tried to kite it around the corner, which didn't really work. Did anything get ruined? Let's find out. Need some first aid. I don't think anything got ruined. Okay. Hey. Come back here. Thank you. There we are. I knew it would die there. But there's always a voice inside you saying, Are you sure? Okay. A little bit of a detour. As in, I got mauled. What happened to the other one? Did I, did I miss it or something? Okay, we're gonna make a fire now. And cook this guy. Alright, a little bit of a rough plan. Uh, I was sure that I would, I could hit him in the head and then I dodged him. I was sure that I would on, kill player. him on that second shot there. 
But I didn't. Not even sure if I actually hit him. You have to look at into that. Lucky day. Uh, oh, thank you. <clears throat> Let's go and grab the coal. While we do that, sorry. Let's um, put this on here. We don't lose well fed. That was a little, little rough. Did I actually hit him with? The, I felt there was three arrows that I hit him with. One break, maybe. I guess I'm guessing one broke. That's all right. Okay, let's. Put, I think we'll grab only one piece of coal. Okay, let's also cure our infection risk. Yeah. We'll grab one of these. I could use the stress pistol, but the the thing is when I when I hunt like this, I kind of prefer getting mauled than using the stress pistol. Uh, because I really don't want the bear to run away. If I shoot him and I use the stress pistol to get him away, or I I break the pathing, the bear will run away and he'll bleed out and he'll die God knows where. And I have to go look for him and bring it all back. If I get mauled instead, then at least I can re-aggro him and kill him here. It's much, much easier. That doesn't mean that I planned to get mauled. That was not the plan, but it's a preferred outcome. Strangely, I uh, need to do some repairs. <clears throat> okay, 32 minutes. Uh, I'll sit pie. Yeah, let's uh, let's eat one of these. Okay, headache. That should go away eventually. Yeah, now. Okay, we are good now. <clears throat> let's start harvesting. Uh, let's actually start with this. And because I killed a few wolves and I'm, I don't smell, should be alright there. Eh? A few minutes. Let's also warm up this. Grab that. I think we'll harvest the bear rather than quarter it, I think. Oh, it's a bit glitchy here. There you go. That's it's four minutes. Okay, let's eat it now. Get our food meter back up. I know. There we go. How long has this got? Quite a while. Uh, let's put on this. Okay, 46 minutes. Uh, did I? Uh, okay, let's do this actually. I want to hide for repairs. And with the bear, we're going to do the same. 17 minutes to head, bear takes. Uh, yeah, let's, just, let's just do that. And this can cure while we do stuff. Hmm. Is the wind going to blow this out? Hmm. Possibility. I have to see. Let's take these things inside. And we'll drop this to be cured. And uh, we'll drop it here. Yeah. Bear pelt. Rabbit. And guts. Oops. Let's grab some wood also. Some of this. <clears throat> and if it does blow out, I'll just change the direction of the fire. By looking affliction wise. I believe the wind has blown out the fire. Very unfortunate. I think I am then going to 
risk doing this. Uh, it shouldn't be too windy if I do it just right. Let's see. There we are. Yeah, let's just use this. Light a fire on the bear's bum later. Perfect. Put a few of these in here. And this is cook. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I don't like that the pies are dropped as well. Okay. And let's start harvesting this stuff. Too cold. Not too bad though. I think the wind died. I think so, yeah. You know what that means. But, uh, now let's cook these things first. Uh, let's grab a torch. Can we make another bear campfire? <laughs> that might be too close to the other campfire, maybe. Doesn't seem like it lets me do it, no. No green frames. Okay, I guess it's your lucky day, Mr. Bear. You don't get a campfire. Okay. Let's eat that. Let's bring the ptarmigan over here as well, if I didn't already. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Kind of misc loot, that's uh, misc food rather. easy to miss. Okay, let's do some more of this. So now we're basically setting up our supplies for this base. And we are good for a little while. Two kilos of this. Oh, I'm getting cold. Need to warm this up a bit. How much... Minus ten, okay. So cold in my life. I hate this. Why why are they dropping the pies? Now I have to like look for the prize. Let's go and grab a coal. Uh, or two. So we can stay warm. birch tea. Heal up a bit and get some hydration. We need the coal for uh, forging. I was going to take it. We'll find more coal. I don't know how much forging will do her anyway. But we'll find some more if we need to. The wind change again? Don't think. <coughs> Think so. It's so cold. I just to be safe. Hi there, is the wolf. Hey, go away. Took these ones. Nice. That was quite a far section there. Should be fine. Oh, 
put all this here. How long is this one? Eight minutes. <clears throat> okay, let's cook some more bear meat then. Okay, let's uh, put some snow for melting and keep harvesting this. We're warming up, we're healing, we're probably going to keep cooking throughout the night and the next day. Clean. Oh, I did the same thing with the pies. Why does it do that? It's not. I know it's like meat pie, but it doesn't smell, so I don't know. Let's just keep going. Wind's picking up again. A few minutes. Let's keep going. Harvest the whole thing and have a bunch of meat here for uh, supplies and also the bear coat for repairs. A bunch of stuff here. I don't think there's anything I can make of this, is there? Uh, not really. I think also let's make one more of these. Three minutes. Before the bear deteriorates, I want to get the guts as well. Cooked. Let's eat these things, by the way. Eat this. All of these ones. Did I finish it? No, I didn't. Ah, look at that. I don't know, I missed that, but here's the arrow that was what I was looking for. At least I think that's it. <laughs> Pretty sure one's missing though. Slowly regenerating health. The wind changing again. Yes, it is. Are you? Don't want him bothering me. We'll get rid of him. Okay, uh, this blew out. Is it still too windy? No, we can put these on. Nice. Kind of died down a little bit. 21 minutes. <clears throat> the guts before the bear carcass deteriorates. Grab one of these. Up that here. Dry. Cooked. Repeat. Uh, actually, we're going to speed this up. By doing the base the skillet, we're gonna make I cook the bear in there. Yeah, I can. Why did that sort itself like that? Ah, you can do it like that. I see. I want this. And then this for water. Yeah, that is fast and nice. Let's grab some of these. We can use them for crafting later. Go. 
One minute. Keep going. Grab the rest of these. There comes the dawn. Looks like I made it through another night. Gonna make some more of this. Eat these. And I'm gonna go inside, or rather, uh, I'm gonna go inside and drop some stuff. And now we got a supply going here, you know. It is cooked, so we can set that up there. And we could also just... We might as well put the drinks there too, why not? It's e easier. Cold water. <clears throat> then we can drop the guts in here. These. Oh, I forgot about the other guts. <laughs> Whoops. I'll grab them in a sec. So many wolves. Kind of annoying how many there are. Here. Up harassing me. Don't you learn lessons from the other wolves, you know? Uh, yeah, put that on. I guess some more <coughs> uh, reclaimed wood as well. Put the rest of the guts in here. There we are. Put that in there. And then let's also grab some more wood from here. A lot of wood here. Gonna cook, we don't have to cook all of it, but we have to cook enough for it to be sustainable while we're here. And also, um, for when I come back here. Gosh, how many of you are there? Hmm. What's the matter there, Wolf? Ah, it's because of you. Gosh, there's so many. Give up already. Ten minutes, all right. Might be actually the uh, the pies that smell because they are detecting me from pretty far away. Might actually be the pies, yeah. But even though I don't have a scent line, doesn't mean that I smell. You, you still smell, it's not as much. Oh, wow. Uh, let's just harvest all of this, if we can. Oops, I forgot to put one on. Let's eat a rosehip pie also, so we stay on top of... Uh, ...getting some stuff back. There you go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I, I did not put that on. Did I actually eat the whole pie? Yeah, I did. But the... Whoa. That was close. <sighs> 
Okay. <sighs> we almost lost the whole run there. If ever there was a moment where I was tempted to ult F4, it was that one. Because I didn't think he would attack me. Because the I have the campfire. He should approach me. I wasn't aiming a weapon either. Ooh, que stress. He shouldn't, uh, he should have approached me and then the campfire should have stopped and then he charges, but he didn't. So wow, that was uh, almost a run in there right there. Wow. Oof. Well, we're still alive though. Okay, well, that's not a mistake I'm gonna make again. That was uh, very unexpected. I bet you it is the damn pies. Well, it's easy to check. That wolf is dead though. But if you see another wolf later, we can use uh, pies as a way to test it. If I do this and they stop, um, well, I had this on me too, I suppose. But then they that would be the thing. Oof, wow. Okay. All right, that's uh, fine. We'll just uh, pretend nothing happened. Just uh, you know, a wolf struggle and a bear falling. Just another day. I have to admit, that was when that happened. I thought, uh oh, that might be the end of the run. Okay, well, onwards we go. <laughs> you see, the reason why I survived is because of this. So I took basically half damage, you know. Uh,. And I was a bit lucky though, because I didn't have that much energy. But I had the hatchet. That was... That could have ended the run right there. But we survived. I'm not going to let that happen again. Hubris, my friends. Hubris. The number one killer. In the long dark. Headache is cured. Well, maybe in the game it is. see okay give me one moment to catch my breath all right Whew, i'm back i just i uh, needed a moment to uh recalibrate my nerves there because that was that was close but uh, you know what it wouldn't be a 500 day run without a few close calls like that in my other 500 day run video, or run rather, uh, I had, let's see, I had four cases where I almost died. I was so close to dying. Um, uh, three times by wolves, once by timber wolves. I was very, very close a couple times. So, uh, yeah, this is one of them. But when that wolf attack, with that low health I had there, I honestly thought... Yeah, that's it. Oh, come on. You know what? I'm not risking it this time. I'm on the bear. Yeah, now you run. But not the other time. Come on, what's with all the wolves? <laughs> you see though, it's odd, but actually I think I know what happened. Now that I think about this, has happened before. So, as you can see, it's a bit of a massacre, right? We have four wolves. Can I actually step up here and see all four? Come on. How did I do it earlier? Uh, whatever. There's all four wolves here, right? But uh, what they all have in common is that they're attacking me with the campfire in sight. They're coming from this direction, right? And then I kill them. However, this wolf that attacked me ran off. He 
he came from this direction. And from his perspective, the campfire is actually blocked. Because remember, the bear actually blocks the wind for the campfire. It's as if you're being indoors, almost. It's the same as if I had put the campfire, uh, like, here, right? And then the wolf comes over here. The wolf doesn't actually see the campfire because it's not in line of sight. So the effect of the campfire doesn't come into play until the wolf comes here, at which point I'm already being attacked. The campfire has this protective radius. As you saw, the wolves kind of stop attacking me around here. So it's roughly this distance. So as long as the wolf can see the campfire from this distance, it charges you, then it stops, and then you can aim at the wolf and it runs away. I just kill them, but you know, they run away, right? But this other wolf came from here and it doesn't get the protective radius because the campfire is behind the bear. That's what happened. Uh, when it first happened there, I was like, I was a bit confused. Uh, but I, now that I think about it, that has happened to me before. It's not the first time. Uh, it's the same reason as like closed camp uh, campfires don't work. It happened to me in Blackrock. A wolf came around a corner and just attacked me. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> Problem solved and um, we are back on track. Three minutes. I'm just going to wait that out. Oh, we got five dead wolves somewhere. Or is it more than five? If I can, I'll, uh, I, I'll harvest those two. Oof. What a... What a billion. So, we got... Five the animals. <laughs> uh, well, that's uh, makes it interesting at least. I don't think we'll be able to cook all this stuff though, because um, I'm not sure if I have enough wood. It's cooked. Let's put down. And yeah, uh, well, we got we got some. We can we, we cook, we'll cook as long as we can. Okay. I think we must have killed every wolf in this area. Do I carry anything? We have that. Now, what a lot of people do in situations like that, we're going to leave this so you can get feathers and things. What a lot of people do is that they, uh, they scum save, as it's called. You alt F4 or, or turn off the computer. And then you're, it's avoided. And I, I don't do that, as should be evident by encounters like that one. I just let it happen. And that has led to a few close calls. Uh, at least four in the other run. This is, this is the first real close call, I would say. There hasn't been any real dangers so far. Uh, but so I don't do that. But if you do that, like a lot of people do that, then that's fine. You play the game however you want. It's, it's an investment, you know. I I never done it except for once. I did do it once. It was not in this run, but I had a different run that I streamed called Winter Merchant, which is when you play Interloper, but you don't use any items. You just pick them up and put them in the shop. Uh, and I, that is so much walking and carrying, and I fell off by accident of a log. <laughs> into the ravine and I exit and came back because that was more like an exhibition run to do with uh, collecting stuff so in that run I did exit and load so I wouldn't die stupidly after I was carrying all the stuff but other than that that was like an exhibition streaming run uh, any of my quote real survival runs like this one previous one Nogoa uh, I don't do it Okay, we're gonna cook this as much as we can, for as long as we can. I might drink this acorn coffee, get a little bit of energy back. I don't really care, normally I would just let my energy go down and be completely drained, but the issue is that I will start losing health and I need to re regenerate, so we're gonna drink some birch teas, we're gonna sleep with herbal tea later, regenerate all this stuff. How am I clothing looking actually? Um, 
What needs repairing? Rabbit stuff. Okay, we need to get some rabbit done. Oof. Wow. Okay. Let's move on. Um... Let's harvest some of this. We don't really need this. Oh, we might as well. I don't know if there's any wolves left, to be honest. I killed like, what, five or six? So many. Eat that. Uh, I think we have enough water now. So let's just... Grab a couple more of these. So I think we'll just cook. The meat here. Actually, I might move that. We'll, we'll see though. Uh, yeah, we're going to cook this as long as we can. Oh, we're just going to grab the meat. I don't care about the hides. We have, we need guts, but we have enough guts. We need some rabbits, though. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I do something? Yes, birch bark. Thank you. Can I repair something? How much cloth do I have? Six. What's low? Mm, no, this is all okay, actually. This could be repaired, maybe. Now we're okay. 17, 16. This past time until it's done, so we warm up. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay. I'm gonna pick this up later. I'm just going to grab as much as I can from these wolves. See if I can avoid getting cold, can I? Just barely couldn't have managed. That's alright. Warm back up. We are nearing the end of this though. Because I, I'm going to get tired soon. Unless I have a coffee. I'm doing with coffee. Carrying coffee around, but I don't have one. I could eat, actually, this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's eat that. Get some fatigue back. Yeah, that's good. That's quite a lot of fatigue, yeah, wow. That is a lot. What am I carrying? Meat. Is that raw meat? No, oh, it's cooked. Uh, then it's this wolf, and there's another wolf dead somewhere. Need to grab some rabbits as well, because I need to do repairs. Just looking, 21 minutes. This is warm, warm up. Put some wood on here. All of this on. Okay, let's keep going. Grab all of this stuff. We don't. I uh, would. I would pick up the hides just to have them, but we don't need them. I, I'm not going to make the wolf coat. The guts, I guess we could use, but we don't really need that either. Any one minutes. It's just Warm down. Oh, is the wind picking up? Yes, it is. We'll see if that does anything. How are we doing with water? We got quite a lot of water on us. Let's drop some of that over here. I want to quickly see if we can find a couple rabbits over where the moose spawn is. Uh. 
guess you know, killed all the wolves there. There was four here and then one that got away that I was in a struggle with. <clears throat> and then I think I killed one down by the ice, right? The one that was annoying me with the bear. So I think I killed six wolves, I think. And one up there by the entrance also, so seven wolves have died. I think. Hmm. Yeah, that's the wolf that I killed earlier. Now let's see if we can find... Uh, I saw some rabbits over here. See if we can get one at least. All the way over here, but <clears throat> they're not not desperate, but it just makes it a little bit easier for repairs. But the wind against me though, and I'm getting cold. This is the only thing. Oh yeah, I killed two wolves over there too. So what's that? Nine wolves I killed. <laughs> oh wow, I lost track. Yeah, I killed two up there. One on the ice. One by the entrance. There's four, and then five by the bear. So I killed nine wolves in this area. Yeah, well, that would be an illustration of how many wolves there are in this area, because, uh, yeah, there's a lot. Uh, thought there were some rabbits around here, but I guess not. Oh, look, burdock. Let's grab that quick. Uh, I'm getting. Uh, yeah, I'm getting cold, but that's okay. Burdock plant. This is the new plant. This was added in part three. You have to have a tool like a hatchet, a pry bar, or knife, I think, and you can grab it. Hey, look at that! Looks like the mandrake or whatever from Harry Potter. Cool. Oh. As far as I know, there's only one recipe that requires the use of a burdock plant. For the most part, I think it's meant for something else. I think it's meant to create a soup or something. No, we'll look into that. Not right now. Do the fire blow out? Yeah, it seems like it. <coughs> well, that's alright. Grab these. If I can drop any of this gear. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna start uh, regenerating and heal up. I'm gonna drop all our food here. Grab a couple more of these. There we are. Let's grab the bear meat as well. And let's heal up. I might red line here, but. That's okay, we'll heal inside. Can I carry all this at once? Yeah, it's a little slow, but it's okay. Okay, well we got it. We got uh, <coughs> we got a lot of wolves killed. I harvested some of them. We cooked maybe half of the meat or so. That's okay for now, we can cook the rest later. Pick these up. Drop all of this. And let's grab the rest of the raw meat. I can cook it over here instead. Don't forget about it. Unlikely, but you know. <clears throat> I'm not sure I can carry much more. I might have to take a few trips doing that. I think we'll pick up the rest tomorrow. Now I'm redlining. If you ever end up in the red and you start wobbling, whoa, you know, like it does, just uh, do, do this. Do that. It will reset the balance and you won't sway. But this is out here. Wolves are back, eh? Well, we're going to go inside and we're going to heal. That's what we're going to do. 
I'm gonna sleep and heal and repeat. So we have some herbal teas. So we are going to drink our herbal tea. And we have two of them because we found one. So drink that. We have full hydration. We generate more during rest. And we are warm. We are going to sleep. And there we go. There we go. Look at that. And then we just... Uh, oh, I'm carrying raw wolf meat. Okay. Let's go outside, grab the rest. And we can even run just to burn some more pig and do this a bit faster. We can sleep some more. Go ahead. Grab all of this. We're cooking later. This whole meat pile here is to cook later. There we are, that's all of it. There's the spawned. Drop this. And also this. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now look at something here. Burdock, prepare the burdock anywhere. Clean and cut, edible, or antibiot antibiotic tea, really. Okay, so let's craft that. I guess that cures like infection and stuff, I guess. Yeah, all right. I'll use that in a tea next time. Uh, let me have a look here if there's... Yeah, we need to harvest a lot of arrows that broke. We can get some arrow shafts, we can make some new arrows. But I'm taking the arrowheads with me. So I, I can forge the, them later. Either here or, um, or in Forsaken Airfield. Forsaken Airfield has a forge as well. And there we go. Uh, bows are running low, but that's fine. Yeah, we're doing just fine. Now they're crafting here. Elation. Oh, you craft it anywhere, wow. Can I do it here? Is it too dark? Too dark, yeah. Do it later then. I think we'll leave the ptarmigan down here. Let's leave it in here. I'll accept five. Okay. Oh, I forgot to bring out some food actually. Um, grab a couple of pieces of meat, shall we? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I'm gonna attach that to the ravine. We'll go the next. We'll go to the hunting lodge also because there's a recipe there. Yeah, and let's just grab a couple of these. Yeah, and more of these. Go. Uh, we're gonna sleep. We won't be able to sleep more than a few hours. There we are. Regeneration has begun. Let's eat this. Uh, well, let me have a quick look here. You can make this anywhere. Oh, okay. Do it. I think this is better than the air wraps. That's the people here. Yeah, two degrees. Oh, this is one degree. They weigh the same as well. Better resistance against wind. Worse resistance against water. 
but it's warmer, and that's all I care about. So that pretty much makes the air wrap obsolete. But in a way, that's a good thing, because if the air wrap breaks, then it's done. The slot is done. We put this air for extra warmth, but I'd rather carry stuff. All right, let's just have a quick look here. We need to do some repairs eventually, but... Mm, we don't need this many feathers, I guess. Let's just drop some of them. Let's take... I think should we take nine... Or ten feathers with us. Rather, twelve. Yeah. Acorns, we'll take that with us. I think we'll take all of this stuff. For the time being, anyway. We need to do some repairs. I can wait. Yeah. Okay. So, let's write a note here. So, uh, <clears throat> we've done kind of established a regional base at this point, but I go to Ravine. Uh, use rope by door. And loot hunting lodge. In recipe. Loot rest. Oh, yeah. We don't really need the moose anymore. And. So that's so if bedroll found, upgrade. Look down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very nice. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're more or less done in this area now. So we're going to do we're going to go down into the ravine and loot that stuff, and then we'll go into hunting lodge, loot that stuff, and there's a couple of the misc areas as well. And I think we're done here. Uh, let's see how we're doing with food. All right. How's the weather and stuff? Yeah. Okay. We still have all of this to cook. We'll do later. It's a bit of a mess. We have all of this we can eat. So this is a decent base for now. We don't really need any more. For now, anyway. So I think we're doing quite well. Not going to eat the bird up. Thank you. Okay. And we'll heal. Uh, we could stay another day to heal, but I think it'll be. I think it'll be okay. Okay. Let's see for one hour. And there we go, fellow survivors. Thank you for watching. That was intense, but we made it this far. Broken Railroad is full of wolves. Uh, I knew that. It is a wolf nest, and I killed nine wolves. Um, I did, and one bear. I mauled once, and the struggle once. The struggle one, if I had stopped and thought about it, I would have known that that wolf would have charged me, but... When am I supposed to stop and think about it? It's happened to me like once or twice before. But I know now what happened there. It wasn't a bug or anything. But it almost ended the run. That was very scary. But it didn't. Uh, I was a bit lucky. I had enough protection and I had a good weapon. Uh, you should always use the hatchet in a wolf struggle, by the way. It's the best one. And then so there was a mix of preparedness, scare, and a little bit of luck also. A little bit of luck also. But we got it. We killed the bear. We got um, we got hides and foods. So now we have a base here. But there's still more to explore. We need to find the cooking recipe. We need to find stim. And just uh, get some saplings and just loot this area. We're going to do that next time. And then after that, I think it's time to head into the far range territory and get the radio. So that's where we're heading quite soon. We need to get some rabbits also, I guess. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.